In this video, I'm going to show you three different methods of creating auto numbers in a worksheet in Excel. I have previously shown you that you can automatically increase the number. It could either be your PO number or your work order number every time you open it by simple code on your workbook. So here we have um, the number one in here. And so I'm going to go uh, file and close. And when I open it up again, when I open it up again, it will automatically change to two. Now, one question I received on this was what happens if, um, if you already have a number, if your POs are starting at, let, let's say, 1,000 or 2,000? Well, that's very simple because all you need to do is you need to change this number. So let's change it to... Um, uh, nine, 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 nine. And so that it'll be very obvious when we open the next one that it's going to be, um, that it's changed. Okay. So once, once again, let's go file and close and we'll go save and then we'll go So when you open it up again, you have 100,000 here. So it has increment. Whatever the number you have in this cell, you will increment by one. So let's quickly look at the code. And it's very simple. Um, what you're doing is you're saying B4 value equals B4 value plus one. So and, and this, is, this is done on the workbook. Um, it's just, and you need to double click to open up workbook and you're going workbook open. So Previc sub workbook open and then um, range B4 is where my number is value. And then when you open it, it's whatever B4 is, you're adding one to the value and that's how you increment your number. Now, the second question that I had was what about if you if you have an, letters before your PO numbers, how do you increase that? So so now I have um, BHC, which is my company, Bar Peterson Consulting, and then I have 15005. Now, if I open and close this, um, it will go to the next one. So it's 005. And so now let's um, go to the next one. And so we go file close. And then we're going to go open it up again. And it's alphanumeric. And then we get 15006. So let's quickly look at the code for this one. I will, of course, include all this code in the, in the description of the video. Um, so for the alphanumeric one, what we've done here, same thing, workbook open. And we say, then we say define um, alpha as a string, numeric as a string. Alpha equals the left three on B2. Numeric is a value. Replace range B2 alpha, alpha and the space, and then your numeric by one. So range B2 equals alpha plus your format, the number equals zero, 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 the five zeros here and then it's n sub. Okay, so that handles two questions. The third question is if you have two workbooks and they are trying to increase, so every time you open up workbook one, you have uh, another number, but you want to continue the series with another workbook so that you always have the same PO number or the same work order number that you're working on, no matter how many workbooks you're working on. So I'm going to show you how to do that one. So I have a workbook and it, the workbook's called work order numbers and it just has, it, there's nothing special to it. It's not a macro enabled workbook. All it has is the number 252529. Now I have two workbooks or work order books and I want them to increase from this one. So what I'm going to do is bring up the first one. So I have here work order book one 
and it has the same number as our workbook numbers here. If I close this, and save it, and then if I open it again, then you can tell which is a workbook because I have that grayed out and automatically your workbook, um, the numbers increment to 30. Now, if I have another book, I'm going to open up my workbook two. So I've opened up workbook two. You notice the number has, is one higher because every time you open it, it opens up a new number, but this number has also increased. This is our workbook one, or work order book one that I had opened up previously, and this name number stays the same. And so either one you op open up, it will get you the next number, and it'll always increase this number here. So let's look at the code on how I did this. And so on this one, what I'm doing is I'm doing, um, I'm defining WKB is a workbook and defining WKS as a worksheet and set workbook equal to Excel workbooks and then that's our work order number and it's just a plain ordinary file and then I'm setting workbooks equals workbooks equals sheet one because that's the sheet that I'm working over and then I'm saying range B3 which is the cell that I'm putting the workbook numbers in equals worksheets range so we've defined that is this file here range b2 plus one worksheets range b2 equals worksheets range b2 plus one so this code on all the different um workbooks that are associated with this will increase the number so that you can have numbers generating depend doesn't matter which workbook you're opening that's the three different ways to create work order numbers that automatically update when you open the files, please subscribe.